good day. Is this Budge Husky, CEO of Colwell Banker Real Estate? It is. Good morning, Valder. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Valder BB Show live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform. Budge, will you tell me about the 25, uh, 15, 2015 Colwell Banker Home Listing Report? Certainly. Delighted to, and thanks for the opportunity. This is a rather unique survey, the most extensive of its kind in the real estate space, which because it covers uh, 2,700 different markets around the country. And we find it's a lot more valuable for consumers because it compares apples to apples, a four bedroom, two bath home prices on the listing side across all the country. And so I can use this report to, uh, like I've got a son who's gonna leave Texas, he's going to California, so can he look at this report and get an idea? He can certainly uh, use the survey, and in fact, if he goes to hlr.cobalbanker.com, you can see all the information, and it really is very good to be able to compare the prices from one market to another. Of course, if he's leaving Texas uh, and moving to California, he's probably going to pay a little bit more because California proved to be the third most expensive state in our survey, and nine out of the top ten most expensive markets were in California. I agree with you on that. Let me ask you, what else does the survey reveal for us? Well, one of the things it does, we tend to look at the ranges. So at the top end, we have Newport Beach, which proved to be the most expensive market this year at the average four-bedroom, two-bath home at $2.3 million. And at the opposite end of the spectrum was Cleveland, where the most affordable market coming in at 74500 But I think that what the survey does is it really demonstrates how local and hyper-local real estate values are. And, and despite a lot of the conversations about the significant price increases in some of the major markets, what we find is that 1,600 of these markets out of 2,700, where you can buy a four-bedroom, two-bath home for under 300000 So it's more affordable than what somebody, uh, typically you may think from uh, some of the reports out today. When is the survey done? It's just done on the home. It's not done broken down by millennial and, and, and baby boomers and things like that. It's just done a general survey on the home. That is correct. So, so what we've done is that if you look at a lot of other surveys, they look at home sale information, but it's generally limited to a select few markets. It's a sample. In our particular case, we actually looked at four bedroom, two bath home properties that were, uh, that were available at the uh, specific time that we did the survey. So it really is very, um, uh, it's, it's much more valuable to a buyer that's out in the market now because that's what they're gonna be looking for. All right then, so we, if we wanna know where our market ranks, this is the survey for us, the 2015 Coal Banker Home Listing Report. It is, and Dallas came in at 216000 this year average. It's the 75th most expensive market in Texas. And uh, again, Texas doing quite well, as you know, in terms of an economic base and its growth. So it's increasingly popular. I like that. And once again, where would you send my audience online so they could find out more about this survey? hlr.cobalbanker.com or see any Cobalt Banker professional. I want to thank you so much for talking to us, Mr. Budge Husky, about the survey. It's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.